Come, O people of the world, let us work on the path of dharma. Let us work on the path of dharma. This is the path on which the wise ones have walked. This is the path on which the saints have walked. The path of dharma. Welcome to the Global Vipassana Pagoda, a monument to peace and harmony with the world's largest unsupported stone dome. It's neither a temple nor a mosque, nor it's a church, but people from every religion, from every walk of life and from every caste and creed come here to practice meditation, Vipassana meditation. Vipassana is a Pali word and it means to see the things as they really are. The meditation technique was discovered by Gautam Buddha more than 2005 years ago and was taught by him as a way to ease universal suffering. Vipassana meditation offers a tangible means of transformation through observations. The story of how the relics of Buddha came to be housed in a pagoda built in the early 21st century is a long one. Briefly, when Buddha left his body around two and a half thousand years ago, Brahman Dona, a wise disciple of Buddha, divided his bodily remains into eight parts and distributed the sacred relics among the local kings. In keeping the Buddha's instructions, the kings enshrined these sacred relics into magnificent stupas in their capital towns. Later, Emperor Asoka built several stupas all over India. He took out relics from original stupa and distributed them among his stupas. Soaring above Mumbai, the global Vipassana Pagoda stands as a beacon to peace, harmony and indeed happiness. The exterior is modeled on the Swigadan Pagoda, a glided stupa located in Myanmar, a further expression of gratitude to the country that so perfectly preserved the practice of Vipassana. A wide concourse surround the octagonally shaped pagoda, a tribute to Buddha's noble eightfold path to enlightenment. It starts with a very wide base that smoothly transitions upward to a solid crystal that gleams in the sun by day and lit by optic fiber at night. The pagoda's interior consists of three sub-domes, the main one being a meditation hall of such magnitude it will take your breath away. It is the world's largest own dome built without any supporting pillars. In fact, 8,000 people can sit comfortably on the expansive teak floor and meditate together under the powerful sacred relics. The relics are held in a special chamber located directly above a golden dhamma wheel, which towers a stunning 27.5 meter above the hall. The pagoda is always open. People who have taken the 10-day introductory course to Vipassana are free to meditate in the main hall at any time of day or night. The smallest sounds vibrate and carry across enormous expanse. So out of respect to those meditating, please maintain a perfect silence. The return of Vipassana to the land of his birth began with this man, Acharya Satyanarayan Goenka. Goenka ji was a very successful entrepreneur, but one time when he got a serious headache, migraine headache, he took his problem to the very best medical practitioners in India, Myanmar, Europe and United States. No one could help him. Eventually, when even the morphine was not 
no longer effective he took the advice of a friend and made contact with Sayagi Yubakin a teacher at the International Meditation Center in Yakon he took the 10 day course and this changed his life for the next 14 years Goenka ji meditated under the guidance of his teacher until Sayagi Yubakin believed the time had come to return Vipassana to India. He made Goenka ji a Vipassana teacher and gave him the task of returning the invaluable gem back to the land of his birth. He said, the time clock of Vipassana has now struck, that is, for the revival of Vipassana in practice. Goenka ji said, may Dhamma spread, may the light of pure Dhamma spread and dispel the darkness of ignorance, suffering, misery. May all be happy, be peaceful, be liberated. If you like our video, please subscribe and like and share.